Hello, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be talking about my contact collection. So first, I'm going to talk a little bit about contact safety. Usually when you receive contacts, they're going to come in a little jar or a little package like this filled with liquid. You want to make sure that you wash your hands with dial soap or another antibacterial soap and wash them really well. You want to make sure that there's no dust, dirt, fibers, makeup, or anything on there. Um, you also want to make sure you have contact solution. Um, I use just like drugstore um, multi-purpose solution and make sure that they are for soft contacts and not hard contacts. Another, another good thing to have is little eye drops. These are really useful especially during a uh, convention if you're wearing contacts for long hours during the day. They help reduce wet, they help reduce redness and any swelling or discomfort you might feel from the contacts drying out over time. Um, one thing you want to make sure about your contacts is that they don't dry out. So replace the solution in your contacts about once a month and you also want to clean them out. Most contact cases will have a left and right and make sure to label them between left and right and keep the contacts associated with them um, in each container. I like to also color my cases to make sure I know what color contacts those are so it's easy to spot them as well as just to keep track. And also pay attention when you buy contacts if they're daily, monthly, or one year use because that will also tell you the lifespan of your contacts. I buy yearly contacts um, and you know you want to replace them as such. Another thing about contacts, I would recommend to put contacts on before you apply your makeup. It is much easier in the long run as if you start to tear up, it doesn't ruin it, um, as well as you make sure that you don't get any makeup in your eye while you're putting on your contacts. I have makeup on, but do as I say, not as I do. So I'm going to open these ones up now. These are the CosCon Anime Pink. Uh, they are the last of the CosCon Anime series that I have. Once you have your contact, remove it from the solution. And I like to also just clean it using my contact solution um, to clean it in the palm of my hand. So put a little bit there. Take your clean finger and just kind of give a little swirl in it. And then you are free to put it in. And make sure you're not putting your contacts in inside out. A good way to tell is that a lot of times if they have black on them, um, they have black on them, you can tell that the inside of the contact will be lighter while the outside of the contact will be darker. I haven't tried these on yet, so I'm excited. Straight out of the box, guys. Ooh. So these are the Costco Anime Pink. Oh boy, gotta blink it out. Sometimes I find with new contacts is that the solution that they have them in, even though I clean them with my solution, um, because it's been soaking in the old solution, is a little strong, and I tear up more of them in the your average solution. Okay, I'm now gonna rinse this one out at the palm of my hand. Get this baby on. Let's move on to my collection. All my contacts are purchased from ohmykitty4u.com. Uh, I'll link them down below in the description. Definitely go check them out. Um, they're my go to contact supplier, um, but there's other places you can get cosplay contacts from. I have six pairs of contacts from them and uh, I'll show you what series they are. So first off, I'm going to start off with the Dolly Eye series. I have those contacts in blue and green. So let's get started. So I'm going to kind of be reviewing these contacts as well and my overall thoughts of them. Um, one of the most important things for me is uh, comfortability. Um, if the contacts are not comfortable, then obviously it's hard to wear around the convention. I have to blink a little bit. A uh, key point I want to make is that your contacts should not hurt at any point of time. Um, they might sting slightly when you first put them in because you are putting a foreign object in your eye, but they should not hurt at all. Um, and it's okay if your eye tears up. But like I 
ones. It, if you are wearing them and it's starting to actually physically hurt your eye, then I would suggest taking them out and either figure out if one of the reasons that can cause that is the, if the contact is on inside out, um, or if it's not correct size to your eye, or there's a bunch of reasons. But if it's continuing to hurt, then you should just immediately remove it. Um, and then at that point, if your eye does not get better, then go see a doctor. So this is the first of my review. I'm doing the Dolly Eye Blue. I'm going to be rating them from comfortability, sight, coverage, and overall just how I feel about these contacts. I really like this series um, because I think that they have great coverage and I like the style of them with the darker rim. Um, and then they have some like kind of black speckles on the inside so it gives it some dimension. Now you may be asking like, well, your eyes are blue. Why do you have blue contacts? Well, the reason I have blue contacts is because sometimes when I cosplay certain characters, um, I feel like the blue contacts suit the character better rather than my own eyes. Uh, one example of this would be a few years ago, I did Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, and I was painted white, the uh, comic book version. I was painted white and black, and I was, you know, the red and blue, and the, or kind of red and navy color scheme, and I feel like my natural eyes just didn't have that pop, and they didn't match as well as I wanted them to, so I had blue contacts to make up for that. And yeah, overall, these are really comfortable to wear. Um, I don't really feel them in my eye when I first put them in a little bit, but as soon as I get used to wearing them, I can forget they're there. The biggest issue I have with these guys is that, um, which is part of their coverage, uh, they have really good coverage around my blue eyes. You don't see much of my actual eye color on the inside, which is an issue I sometimes have. Um, like if I'm wearing a vastly different color. Like if I'm wearing red, sometimes you'll see a little blue halo on the inside, and uh, I personally don't love that. And so contact series like the Twilight, which I actually had a while ago, don't look as great, I feel. And like I said, they have really good coverage, but the downside to their really good coverage is that I do lose a little bit of my sight. There is a blue-purple haze around everything that I see. It's kind of just in my peripheral vision. It's that everything's kind of like a weird, hazy blue. Overall, like I said, I really like this contacts in this series in particular, the Dolly Eye series, um, and I will continue to purchase from this series in multiple colors. And so moving on to the next one, which is actually the same series, is my Dolly Eye Green. So let me just pop these babies out. So now we have the Dolly Eye Green series. Overall, same thing with this series. I'd say comfortability is, they're really comfortable. Um, I don't really notice them. It just takes a while for me to blank it out. Coverage, you don't see my blue eyes underneath at all, which is really a plus for me, because like I said, they tend to pop out. As well as, they are really bright and vivid once you put them on. And you can see them from a distance, that my eyes are clearly green. Sight, overall, same thing. I have a green ring over everything, hazy, peripheral vision, just green blur. But overall, I can see really well. So yeah, these are my green contacts. So next we're moving on to my red contacts. These are a different series. They are the Poppy Fairy uh, Red. Personally, I'd say out of all the contact colors you need, I would say the most important colors to have a red, a light blue, and a pink. I feel like those are probably the most popular like eye colors for anime characters, and so if you ever want to think about it, um, I would definitely invest in those three colors. Um, I've used my red cosplay contacts for Ceres, I've used them for San Correa, um, I can use them for a few upcoming cosplays I have as well. You just always can use red contacts. You can do anything vampire-wise too. There you go. And these are my red contacts. These are the Poppy Fairy series, as I said before, in red. In terms of comfort, they are even more comfortable than the Dolly Eye series. I don't really tear up when I put them in as opposed to the Dolly Eye ones. Um, in terms of coverage, they cover the blue really well. Um, they don't cover as well as the Dolly Eye series, um, but it's not enough uh, to notice a real big difference. Uh, in terms of sight though, I don't have as much as a haze around. I do have a red haze on my peripheral vision, but it's not as big as the Dolly Eye series. Um, overall, uh, Overall, these are probably my favorite contacts to wear, um, and I think they are useful for multiple cosplays. 
So now we're moving on to my favorite series of contacts that I have so far, and they're kind of new still, but they're becoming really popular and are growing fast among the cosplay community, and that is the Coscon Anime Contacts, and they are contacts that literally look like anime character eyes. So I'm going to start off with my first ones that I have, which are the Coscon Anime in orange. And these are the Coscon Anime Orange. Um, whew. In terms of comfort, they're very comfortable. Um, I don't, haven't had any issues wearing them. Um, they cover your eyes beautifully, no matter what color eye color. I think that you're, it's going to be pop. These are one of my favorite pair of contacts. As you can see, these are really great and vibrant. Um, and like I said, once again, they're super comfortable. Um, they cover my blue eyes perfectly. and. The site is not bad. like I can see perfectly. Um, overall, these are really great, uh, and I would recommend the series. And we're gonna move on to the next one. Overall, these are comfortable. My eyes are really red, but that's because I've been putting contacts in and out this entire video. Um, whew, and I'm crying a bit. Okay, they are comfortable. Believe me. Um, I'm just tearing up because, like I said, sometimes the solution at the end when they get sent to you is a little bit strong. Even though I rinse it out with my own solution, I still feel like I just stink slightly more than usual. Um, and like I said, they should not, you should not feel pain in your eye, but there might be a slight discomfort in the beginning or like slight stinging, but you should not feel any pain. Um, these are, the coverage is actually, you know, really good. You don't see any of my blue eye underneath. and. My sight is pretty good, like I said. You'll always have that in your peripheral vision. You'll always have that, like, color haze. But um, it shouldn't, you know, be too bad. And you should be able to still, like, use your phone, see, read, and all that good jazz. So that was the review of all the contacts that I have from ohmykitty.com. Um, I'm like I said, I'm going to put the link down below in the description if you want to check them out. Um, and I'll also put the names of all the contacts that I have. Contacts are a great way to add an extra detail to your cosplay, but they aren't necessary. If you don't feel like wearing contacts or you're not comfortable with it, you don't have to. With the powers of Photoshop and every other free photo editing, you know, software. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to stay tuned for more content. I'm going to be uploading videos every other Friday as every Friday is a little bit hard for me. So I'm going to start doing that. Yeah. <laughs>